We're now joined by manager James Frisbee. Coach, thanks for stopping by. And while it is a disappointment, you didn't have a chance to sweep the series. You did pick up the series win. And I think if you look at a couple of bright spots, Chase Larson, a three-hit game and a two-run homer, that's got to be on the list. Yeah, I mean, it was just, you know, Chase won the bat well today. Um, the, you know, the story of the game really was the, was the third and fourth innings. They got five, and, and uh, we didn't score till the seventh. So we fought at the end. Um, their guy threw a really good game against us. I felt like we were um, not really ourselves at the plate. I think we were a little bit maybe too aggressive in the middle innings, swinging a lot of first pitches and just a lot of early counts and didn't really feel like we uh, really got in a rhythm until about the seventh inning. And then we kind of got a little bit of momentum. And from what, from what I've seen of our club so far, the three games I've been here, it's a momentum team. And we get guys on base, we run a little bit, do some things. Um, I think that's our key. Uh, you know, Johnny didn't have his best stuff today. He, he tried to grind it out for us and, and worked hard. Just one of those days, you know. You, you don't have it all the time. Um, I thought Seth threw the ball really well. And actually, you know, he hung in there and gave us a chance to, I thought, to have a chance to, you know, do something at the end. But uh, just wasn't in our, our favor tonight. Uh, like I said, I tipped my cap to, to Jeff's club over there at Lake Erie. Great, great ball club. And uh, they came out, swung the bats early, got the momentum, and then they held on. Now, one thing you touched on there briefly, and in, in, in last night especially, and in this one here, you know, down seven nothing, you come in and get uh, four runs in the last three innings. As a manager of a new uh, a new manager to the club, you really, I would think that you'd have to like the uh, the fight that this team just kind of goes uh, right to the end of the ball game, no matter what. Yeah, it's a good sign. You know, I think. Um, that sets us up for uh, you know for the rest of the year. Hopefully, with with that kind of attitude, where and I can tell. I mean, we were we we were not uh, top form tonight. I thought our energy was down a little bit early, but I could tell at the end of the game. Like I said, we got some momentum, and I could tell we lost, and it was guys were guys were upset. You know, I know a couple guys in the dugout. You know, I knew we were <laughs> took it. You know, they hey they want to they want to get this thing turned around. So, um, but. Hey, we won the series, have a day off tomorrow, get on the bus, uh, go to River City and, and uh, early game Tuesday, and hopefully we can uh, go in there and play well those three games. Is there any one player that through the first three games uh, maybe stands out to you more than anything else? I, you know, I, I, think, um, I think one guy that's, that's uh, offensively really important is Jeremy because um, he's a veteran hitter, and he's got a good approach, and I think he's – I think that the more that guys are around him uh, offensively, they're going to feed on that a little bit. Um, I think uh, I think Michael's starting to uh, show what he can do, and Michael's going to be really, really big for us. Um, a little concerned about uh, some injuries. You know, we had we had uh, Gabe go down last night, and, and I don't I don't see him playing for you know for a week probably with his with his his uh, finger and. I don't think there's anything broke. It's just some ligaments, and but uh, you know, I biggest thing is I think he can catch, but he, I don't think he's gonna be able to swing the bat for a little bit. So I've got I got con some concerns with that a little bit, and and uh, overall health. We uh, you know I'm I'm always worried about that, but uh, just I think our guys need a day off tomorrow, though. You know, it's been a long it's been a long week. It's been a long process. It's been an emotional deal. You know, you you, you bring somebody in new and. You know, I think the last two nights were adrenaline nights, definitely. Last night was a was a long night, and uh, I just kind of thought we were a little bit flat early. But I did like the, the response we had late, and uh, so that's a good sign going into it, to Tuesday. Great. Well, enjoy the day off tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by. We right. appreciate it, and Thanks good luck guys. on the road trip. All right, appreciate it. We'll wrap up here the Budweiser postgame show next on 100.5 NTA-FM.